A father has invented a waste incinerator, which allows his family to recycle their rubbish at home. Nick Spencer, 48, says the device, which is about the size of a washing machine, can generate enough energy to heat a house. Prototypes are being tested, and he hopes that one day the incinerator will become commonplace, fitting under work surfaces alongside dishwashers. Mr. Spencer's invention, called the Home Energy Resources Unit, or HERU, can recycle most household waste, including nappies, coffee cups and plastic. It works by heating up the rubbish, and turning it into a small amount of ash, which can be flushed safely down the drain. The HERU is plumbed into an attached boiler, which ensures potential dangerous gaseous emissions are filtered out. On the way to the boiler, the waste gases pass through a patented filtration system, which removes any noxious chemicals and any unwanted odors. It is then also passed through filters in the boiler, which make the final gas emissions harmless and odorless. One 8-hour cycle can produce enough energy to heat a tank full of hot water, as well as burning rubbish which would otherwise end up in landfill. It does not recycle metal and glass which require much higher temperatures to break down, but if those items end up in the machine accidentally, they will not cause any harm. Mr. Spencer, who lives with his wife Jody, 46, and their two children in Avesham, Worcestershire, came up with the idea while running a recycling plant, which sent out a fleet of lorries to collect renewable materials. He calculated that it was possible to save huge amounts of carbon, if waste material was incinerated at home instead transporting it to larger sites, or even abroad. Mr. Spencer, whose invention cost £12,000 to build, said, I can see a time in the future where waste collection is completely eradicated, and the only materials being recycled are glass and metal. It is completely inefficient to collect recycling from a home to be taken to a site to be incinerated, to generate heat to be used to fuel someone's home. What I wanted to do was to effectively cut out the middleman, and build something that could do the job of using these materials to generate heat on a smaller scale. The Heru works using low temperature pyrolysis, the decomposition of matter in the absence of oxygen. Mr. Spencer said, similar processes happened in nature, and likens it to taking a dinosaur and a tree and burying them, with no oxygen. Heat from the Earth's crust over millions of years produces oil, gas and charcoal. The hero speeds up this process using heat pipes. Rubbish is put in a cylinder which is the size of a washing machine drum. The chamber is heated to 100 degrees Celsius, which dries the moisture from the waste to create steam. This steam passes over heat exchangers, which transfers it to heat the water supply. The temperature is then ramped up to 300 degrees Celsius, which triggers the pyrolysis and turns the rubbish into a charcoal-like substance. Oxygen is then pumped back into the chamber and the pyrolyzed waste is burnt. The energy produced is used to heat the water in a boiler. After a full cycle, users simply flush the remaining ash, about a teaspoonful, down the drain. The process takes between 5 and 8 hours. Mr. Spencer said, the ash which is left at the end of the cycle can be safely washed into the sewers. While looking into the ash we discovered it contained lye, which has a very high alkaline content and is excellent for cleaning sewers, and breaking down fatbergs. Lye was used by the Victorians to wash out the sewers, so even the material which is left has a beneficial effect. The hero connects to the water main and drainage, and runs off a normal 13 amp domestic plug. Mr. Spencer, who describes himself as a serial entrepreneur, says that for every 1 kilowatt hour of power required, it produces 2.5 kilowatt hours. The emissions it produces are odorless, and expelled via the boiler exhaust, and are similar to those expelled by normal boilers. Mr. Spencer, who now works full-time on the Hero, believes a 2.5 kilograms load of rubbish produces 44% of a household's hot water. Heroes are being trialed in a home, a cafe and another business in Worcestershire. Mr. Spencer hopes to begin production in 2020, with an estimated price tag of £3,500.